Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Rocking All Over the Globe, Part 59, Club 4. We're at Coritiba here in Brazil. And as you can see from this table over here, we are sitting top of our group in the Paranense Cup. And today we have probably the two biggest games that we are going to play uh, or have played in Brazil since we arrived in Brazil. And we are going to be playing against Atletico Paranense, who are second in the table behind us only on goal difference. And then three games, three days later, we are going to be playing against Godoy Cruz, who are from Argentina, and they are favourites to win our group in the Copa Libertadores. So it is a very, very tough programme that we have today. If there is anybody in the chat, can you let me know if you can see the pictures and if you can hear me? I'd be very grateful because YouTube... I can't tell from what's happening on my screens here. So if you are there, can you let me know that you can hear me and all's good and we shall be on with what we have to do today. So, yeah, it is going to be a big game, but we have already qualified for the quarterfinals and this Godet Cruz game is a much bigger game than the Atletico Paranense. Although this is a local derby. Hi, Saul, how are you doing? Although this is a local derby um, and the crowd, the fans and the board expect us to do well in this game, I think that this is worth sacrificing in a way. Although I still want to win it, I'd like to finish top of the group and there are only two games left that we have to play, but we're either going to finish first or second and we're into the quarterfinals anyway. Hi music, how are you doing? And then um, this game against Gode Cruz because in the um, Copa Libertadores Tadores, they're going to be our main rival. I would like to do well against those. And possibly this means that I might be thinking about throwing this game against Paranense. I'd still like to win it, but by throwing it, I mean putting in a reserve team. But let's quickly, let's have a look at what happened since you were last with us. And it looks very pretty indeed. And we did, you saw us beating Moringa in the last game. We beat them by three goals to nil. And then we beat a Parana, Parana, <laughs> lovely names. We beat them by three goals to nil as well in the next game. Sao Hosens, we beat them by six goals to nil in the Paranense Cup. These are very small teams and we should be beating them. And then uh, Kera Portena, who hail from Paraguay, we beat them in our opening game in the Copa Libertadores. We beat them by three goals to nil, quite comfortable. So one of our potential rivals we've seen off already and then that brings us now to these two games today and I do feel that this one is much more important than this one they are just they will just have a couple of days in between and I want to make sure the squad is in good condition for that and so with that in mind I've decided today to play a very rotated team and I have no first team players apart from Perotti in this team. Raphael William, he has come back into favour at the moment. And uh, you had a power outage music, did you? Oh, that's bad luck. So Raphael William is back in favour, but I still am struggling to separate him and Gobetti. And they're both performing at the moment extremely well. In fact, the entire team, apart from a couple of players, are <laughs> performing well over seven and you'd expect that playing against these very small teams from Serie C and Serie D. So this is a big game and I have rotated but when I look at this team it's still a very good team. My reserve team has got some very good players in it like Paraxides, like Oliveira, like Naldi, Helinho who is young up and coming, Cipriano, Haverton, Heidegger, Mas Marcos, Sasme. They are not first team players anymore and that is a good looking reserve team. 
But we still have money left in the kitty. We still have 8 million in the kitty. And I'm still unsure as to where the players will go out. So, But there has been a little bit of movement. We let go Juan Cordova. He was a full-back, wing-back, played on both sides. But he's just way past his sell-by date now. We let him go for 7.75 thousand <laughs> to Stogo Wanderers. I'm not even quite sure where they come from. But he's gone and um, it eases off the wage bill a little bit. Nothing has happened in terms of players coming in. Uh, but I am looking at a striker. And I'm looking at Jose Pineda. And we're scouting him at the moment. He's 20 years old and his value is from 170k to 1.7 million. Something we could easily afford. <laughs> so he looks like, if the scouting all goes well, he looks like he could be a bargain for the future and good a good deputy for Perotti. We'll keep you posted on that one and how that goes. Good evening, Shekajin. And... Um, yeah. Oh, it was you, was it? Well, yeah, we are going to um, test that very, very shortly, Shikajin. Very, very shortly. Guys, if you are there in the chat, don't forget to leave a like. I know your memories are absolutely shocking. And it's likes and comments that will help the channel to grow. And I want to grow. And so just by clicking that little like button, you will help push the algorithm to show the video to people who've never had a chance to see my videos before. Many of you, sometimes I get messages from you, you receive a little, I receive a little comment, and this is two years in. <laughs> I've just come across your channel on my, on my suggestions page, and um, it still happens. So um, click that like button, help us to get out there and to grow. We're going to get straight on with it today. These are two big games. I'm not going to have these as long live streams. We're going to just do the news. We're just going to play the games and then we're going to call it a day. Shorter live streams than normal. But we have big games today. And I think we should go and play the first one. I don't know if I'm making the right decision here. You can see how upset my assistant is with the team selection. It will be interesting to have a look at um, the the team reaction to this. And uh, well, here we go. We're going to set this up now. We'll go and ask the assistant. He's okay with that. And uh, I'm quite happy with this with this team. I don't think we're going to win it. I don't think it's good enough to win it. I'm noticing that Cipriano is not fit. So I just might bring Raquel me in today and play Cipriano in the bigger game. Hey, music. All right, yours must be then, music. Yours must be coming up next week. Um, I've just done one last Friday, and I think... If it was yours, then yours will be next week. And then Shikajan, his will be the week after. So also, I am uh, preparing a video on um, something that I've been asked for many, many times. And um, I finally got around to doing it. Um, thank you, Mr. Twister, for becoming a channel member. Absolutely pleased to see that. And... Uh, Thank you so much for joining as a member. Very, very much appreciate it. And, um, yeah, so let's go and submit this team, see what the, the players make of this. I'm going to play my wing back on support, I think, um, to begin with, and I'm going to play with a balance mentality. I just want to make sure that defensively we're good. We'll play, we'll start with a higher line, and we'll adjust things as we go along. I just want to make sure that defensively we're not giving away stuff really early on. The team are very happy <laughs> with the team selection. And uh, team instructions are there happy with team selection. Um, they're all looking uh, pretty pleased with things. And I'm a bit surprised about that. I may have the sound on, which I don't, which is good. Um... And I do, but I do want to go and check that I am in comprehensive highlights. I should be because I haven't altered it. Yeah. 
and then we can now get into the dressing room and um, this is a very closely fought rivalry play for the fans and they'll give us a boost and I think we'll leave it at that um, Paraxides is a very good player he's not He's composed, but he doesn't seem up for it. Everyone else appears to be up for it. Always remember, if you use your assistant for this, to go and do it again in the dressing room, because he always updates it. And here we go. One of the biggest games of the season. Uh, last year in this, we topped the group. We beat Atletico Paranense quite comfortably in the end. But this year, I think it's going to be a different story. I'm saving my first team for the Copa Libertadores. And probably I've made an error in selection here. Um, but we just want to defend properly. If we defend properly, we've got enough up front to be able to score a goal. There's one or two players that may need to be substituted. Um, Perotti will probably need to be rested after 60 minutes. So I'll probably bring um, Kumalo on for um, Perotti if things are not going well. But at the moment, it's, it's fairly even and nobody is really causing anybody any problems. And it's very cagey, as you'd expect this kind of game to be. And Marcos picks up the ball, finds Helinho. Helinho to Oliveira. Here's Perotti. This is nice. Nice football as Paraxides gets into the box. He finds Helinho. is tackled inside the box. I'd have given that as a penalty. I'm pretty sure you guys would have. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't given. I've seen them given in FM. But so far, so good. Um, we haven't had a shot off in anger yet, but that's the way I'm playing the game. I want to be defensively solid. I'll take a point, without a doubt, as Raquel Mee tries to get one in from distance with his head. And I'm just looking at my team shape. It looks good. We've got good pitch coverage. And um, hopefully they will find us difficult to break down. It is a reserve team. I put my hands up and accept we might not win this game. We might not even draw. But we have to, I think, protect the first team for the game that is coming up later. This is, this is possibly going to be my first defeat of the season. But I will take that. Um, we're in the quarterfinals anyway. You've still got to go through the quarterfinals, the semifinals and the final. So we'll take that. And um, I just want to have a look, if possible, once this free kick is done, at who is causing us any problems. If anybody... I don't think anybody's causing any particular problems. Um, but in terms of shots... Only one from Tiago, which, as I recall, wasn't particularly dangerous. Key Ross has just, they've just made one key pass at the moment. The heat maps are telling me that we are focused a little bit on the right-hand side. And the momentum tells me that they're coming back into the game, but it's anybody's game at this point in time. I possibly want to get my players to focus a little bit away from the right-hand side. And I don't know why they're doing that. Um, but but we'll see what we, what we can do with that later on. At the moment, I'm quite content as a manager because we are holding them out. And that's the idea of what I want to do today. I want to hold them out. And that was a decent pass. And I need to f just take a look at who made that pass. And uh, maybe just keep an eye on him. So that he doesn't become... It was Reese Scott who made that pass. And we do have another highlight. I'd like to see us win the ball. And we haven't won the ball and this is something I need to address because what I'm going to do now is push the line up um, because I want to compress the middle so that when the ball's headed down that we have bodies in the middle to pick up the loose ball and Oliveira has burst forward and out of the blue, out of nowhere, Oliveira 
has blasted us in front. What a strike. We saw one last night in the other save from Dusan. I'd rate this just as good. What a dribble and what a strike. We are 1-0 up. We are beating them. And maybe my decision to rotate the team was justified. But I'll still be quite happy to take a draw. This or draw is all I need to to finish on top of this league. And uh, we just need to focus still on defending properly, which we're doing. We're playing magnificently in defence. Our shape is extremely good. And we're winning now, as you can see. We're winning the second balls. Just that little tweak pushing the lineup means we're winning the second balls. And Paraxides decides to let one rip as well. <laughs> and that was just over the bar. And I'm looking at the stats. We are the better team. Our pass completion is good. We are getting shots on goal. We're getting shots on target. And we just want to make sure we don't concede. And that was dangerous. And need to be very aware of those runners. So what I'm going to do, we have Zappa. Looks like a defender to me, Zappa. Ray Scott may be causing us problems, and Zappa. So I'm just going to go and have a look at those. Um, Ray is, uh, Scott is the attacking playmaker, of course. So I'm going to type mark him, set somebody about him, and we'll also have a look to see what is... Uh, and we're also going to hard tackle him. We just want to let him know that um, he's in a football match. Tiago, we are... Not, I'm not going to do anything with Tiago. And the other one is Kiros, who is a little bit of a nuisance. Um, we're going to turn him on to his right foot. Who did, that should do it for him. Just turn him on to his right foot. And bring him inside and he'll be a little uncomfortable on that foot. But at the moment, we are doing okay. I'm perfectly happy with how the stats look, how the game looks on visually. At the moment, I can relax a few minutes and just hope that we can add another goal to what we're doing. Now, this will be the test of the high line. If we, the ball, when the ball is headed down, do we retain the ball? In fact, Marcos has done extremely well there. It was a poor kick. And Helinho, this young kid who's got the biggest future, I believe. Whether I can hold on to him, I don't know. But what a player he's going to be. Heidegger bringing it forward. Perotti looks for Naldi. Naldi to Haverton out wide. Haverton into the box and it's in. Paraxides has made it 2-0. What a team this is. What a team we have put together here in Brazil. If we can bring in that new striker who is 18 years old, will be an absolutely super deputy for Perotti. What a team we will have. 2-0. This is much, much better than I could ever have expected this game going. We've become pretty good at limiting opposition goals. We've defended well. We set the team up today to defend and that's what they're doing and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the wing backs now to close down less just to force them out wide let them go out wide and and just um, then once they're in trapped in the corner then we can close them down so we'll close down less often and things are looking very very good and we have come Two half time, we are two nil up. What a performance! And um, I'm going to say you might be winning, but that could all change. And uh, say you weren't that bad, but you can still improve. And tell Perotti the same. He can get himself on the score sheet here if he believes in himself. I think it's important that they understand from the manager I will not be happy if you let them back into this game and we need to make sure second half syndrome is not a factor 
as Raquel Mee tries to get down the left. He can't. It's played out of play. We're still 2-0 up. We're still looking like we're good value for the three points. And this will, if we can hold on to this, this will take us top of the group. And I'm pretty certain we will win the group. And, of course, we will get the bragging rights against um, Atletico Paranese, who are very much fierce rivals and the fans expect when we play this game. So at the moment we've done very well. We need to pick this ball up and we need to win the second ball and we haven't won the second ball. And that was Haverton. He's not the greatest fullback in the world, Haverton, but he is he's a very determined player. He gives his all, he works hard. And that was a bit sloppy from William and uh, that's why <clears throat> That's why his position is under threat. So at the moment it is 2-0. And we are still in front. But set pieces are a bit of a lottery. William collects and nicely done. And this, I'm wondering, did Atletico Bernens actually rotate their team as well? Because really they're not looking much of a threat here. And Haverton is actually providing... a. A lot. Haverton is having a good game and maybe I should be focusing play down the right because he is having a super game. Raquel Mee not so good. And Raquel Mee's got himself injured and that's possibly one of the worst things that could happen. And I now need to find, a, I think probably need to find a full back. A wing back in the transfer market and might have to forget the forward <laughs> just focus on getting a wing back i have victor louise but he's old and um he's not really up to it and i think i'm going to be looking at some more substitutions very shortly i think we've been the better team it's a close contest I think because we've dominated the possession, we've created chances and put the chances away, which Paranense haven't. And here's Oliveira again. He's a lovely young player, that boy. And he's bursting up the left and gets a corner. Can we get a goal from a set piece? The the Bournemouth save is is not Bournemouth anymore. We got Jonesy, we got offered the job. At Juventus. I don't know if you missed that episode, Jonesy, but Juventus came to me. We turned Juventus around. We had a string of good results. Juventus came to me, offered me a job, and I went. So it is now Juventus. We are now at Juventus and trying to rebuild a failing Juventus side at the moment. And we're, we're doing a decent job. So the Bournemouth, Bournemouth has actually gone. We've moved on. We're at a different club now. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I struggle to work out what actually happened there because they I was their number one to take over the job when they sacked their manager and I don't know why I would have been their number one I've only won a League 2 and League 1 title and that's it and Perotti, oh Perotti that's why I need another striker <laughs> Perotti, I'm going to make some subs now Going to just uh, rest Perotti. He's done a decent job. Not a very good job, but a decent job. I'm going to bring on... Actually, I'm going to bring on Shatin. I don't need to bother Kumalo. And Helinho's looking a little bit tired, so I'll probably bring off Helinho and put on Atuesta. He'll do a nice job for me there. And we'll just leave it at that for now. And uh, needs to get uh, Shatin, who's out of favour with me, but we do need to give him some game time. And Ms. Paraxides got himself injured again. Paraxides has now got himself injured. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy, this is not turning out to be the victory I wanted. And Galarzo Moreno can come on for Paraxides. Uh, not, they're not great players. These are kind of like players who are declining in terms of favorability at the club um but i'm pretty sure moreno has enough experience about him to put in a decent performance 
he's mainly played on the right wing for me um, in that 4-1-2-2-1 and has done a very good job. And well done to William there. <laughs> it was quite interesting. I thought we were going to concede there. It's been given offside. They are coming back at us now. It might be time to shut the shop. And I'm going to, before this happens, I'm, I'll, I'll actually take that on board because we're not getting enough shots. And uh, before that happens, we're going to just tidy that up. And then we'll make our final substitutions. I thought we'd given away a penalty, but we hadn't. And William has made a very good save. Good evening, Lucas. How are you doing, my friend? And if you're there, guys, and you haven't already, don't forget to leave that like. Help the channel to grow. All it is, one click, and you'll help the channel to grow bigger. I'm going to make my final two subs now. I think I've got, no, I've got one left now, haven't I? And we have Naldi, who's very tired. And so what we'll do is we'll bring Boschilla on for five minutes. I can't use any more. I've only used four. Oh, one's a double sub, is it? Unless I can only use four subs in this competition. I don't remember that being a rule, though. I'm looking at their passing. Kiroz has been their most dangerous player and we've shut him down quite reasonably well. And as we come up to full time, part one of what we needed to do today is complete. We've just a minute or so left and we don't need to change anything. Even if they score now, we're going to be home and dry. So we will just hopefully see this last minute out. And well done, well done, out for a corner. Could get a goal from a set piece. It would not be unknown in FM for a consolation goal to have to happen. And uh, nice, that's actually very nice from the free, from the corner. And they have got one back. There's only half a minute left, so I think it's job done. And I mean, you've got to take your hat off. That If I'd have had that free kick, I'd have been shouting my head off. What a lovely goal. Take, Give credit where it's due. It was a nice goal. But we need... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask them, just slow down now. Waste some time. And we don't need to counter or counter press. And we'll just slow everything down. And we'll just, like, see this half a minute out. And hopefully then that's job done. Or we could even get one back. <laughs> As Oliveira comes into the box and we've got a set piece. No, it's just going to go out for a throw. There's just a... In fact, it's over the time for added on now. And they are also going to shoot on sight, I'm told. And it looks like it's game over. But we're still playing. And we are almost two minutes into extra added on time. As the goalkeeper looks to punch that clear, Heidegger will pick that up, finds Atuesta. Atuesta on the turn, and it's well saved. Take your time, boys. Take a fortnight over this corner, and it has now been declared full-time, and we've beaten them, and with our reserve team at that. Really well done, boys. Oh, OK, yeah, uh, that's what it was, Mr. Twister, yeah. Um, I'd already used the number of stoppages. But it mattered not in the end. We have now pretty much, unless an, an absolute disaster happens in our final game, which will be against... Our final game in this competition will be against Londrina. They are a pretty decent team. And they will give us a game. But un unless a disaster happens, I think we're pretty much going to win the win the group safely into the quarterfinals anyway. But we have more football to play. And who are the injuries that I've got? Raquel Me is injured four to five weeks. That is a big blow. And Paraxides at two to three days is no big deal. He's not due to start in the next game. But losing two, losing that fullback is a big deal. And um, 
might have to think about doing something about that. So what we will do now is rest these players. I don't want them training the players who played. I don't want them training the day after. So I'm going to rest them for a day. And the rest of the players can turn up for training as normal. But it, I just feel it's nice to, when you've got games this close together, rest the players who have played. And so we are doing extremely well. In game one, we have kept up our 100% start to the season. This is a very good team. It's starting to look like it's a very good team. However, we, as I said, we are playing teams who are much weaker than us. But that was a good test. Atletico Paranense was a big test. And who is this? Attacking midfield. I've got loads of attacking midfields who are absolutely outstanding. I don't need another one. And Godet Gruz. What about Godet Gruz? I'm looking, when I'm doing this, I'm looking for things that go together. So positioning will go with marking. And that will give you an idea. And then if they if they're quite strong then you'll want to play players with good off-the-ball movement. Um, excel, they have acceleration and pace, so I don't want to start with, an up, with a much higher line. And they also will look, going with that, will be dribbling. And if they are good dribblers, although I'm not seeing that they're good dribblers, their acceleration and pace worries me with balls over the top but they're not the best passing team and they're not the best dribbling team and so that will affect how we play and uh, I pretty much agree with the team we can't um, start put Raquel me in there now so Victor Louise is going to need to come on to the bench so he will come in for <clears throat> Cipriano. I do. I think I probably do need a wing back who can play either side, and that will solve the problem. So Sasme, Marcos, and Heidegger will now go out. Anderson, Jesus will come into the middle. No, he won't. He'll go out onto the left. Marcos will come into the middle, and Jesus Abba will come on to the right-hand side. So that's a completely new defence. I'm also going to play Gobetti in goal. I still think Gobetti is a very good goalkeeper. And then uh, wing-backs kind of pick themselves. Pires will come in for Haverton. Helinho and Naldi, they will be replaced. Maxi Alves, so Galarza will play here. And my centre mid. The centre mid will be... I can't see him. I'm probably going to play Maxi Alves as the centre mid, the DLP. Um, probably is my my preferred choice. Aguilera inside on that side. And then the man will come in next to him if I can find him. Leando Kumalo will come next to him and Parotti will stay up front. So that, to me, is a very good team. He wants to switch Moistafa and think, yeah, I think he's possibly right. Let's play let's play Anderson Jesus. He's got good pace. He can do the he's good acceleration. He can do the cover job. And I forgot about Mustoifa, who is my number one in terms of centre-backs. And then we can bring in Marcos for Heidegger. 
And that's it. We're done. We're going to go with that team. He wants Raphael William in goal. I'm going to go with Gobetti and see how he gets on. Peruzzi is good wing back that plays both sides. He he's if he doesn't turn up though on my scouting um lists, I can't sign them. Um it's it's a shame. Um but I do I do like it to be found by my scouts. So anybody who's not scouted, I can't sign them. Um so I wanna look for Wing back, somebody who can play on both sides. There's probably plenty of good players um, who can do this. And and here we go. 29 years old, can play on both sides. He's not going to be that good on that side, but could do it in the, at a push. But as a wing back here, be, it certainly looks to me like an extremely good player. Cheap as chips. And I know the board will be upset because he's old, but I just need cover. And... Um, I think unless somebody better than that comes up in the next few days, I'll probably make a bid for him because he just looks like a. that's what I'm looking for. Somebody who's uh, preferably young, who's really good, but any port in a storm when I'm desperately trying to solve a problem. He looks decent, probably will do a good job, but I'm not uh, as yet going to do anything until I've had a really good look. Uh, through the lists but we, at least we've got someone who could do that job this is a big game the go day whatever they are who are they go day go do go doy go go doy cruise go go doy go doy cruise they are favorites to win the group and he's made an offer for a left back. Interesting. And I'm not going to argue with that because this boy looks good. But he's 31 years old, but he certainly looks good. How much is, did he offer to pay for him? 4.2 million. No, I'm going to turn that down. It's too much for him. The other one I had my eye on was cheaper, I think. And we have to turn that down. So... Who's the other one I have my eye on? Coste. He's younger. Oh, he is very, very good. So he is very young or youngish. And look at his mentals. So I'm actually going to cancel that one. We'll come back to him and make an offer. He's already on my short list. So we'll cancel this one. Because I can't afford them both at the moment. So that's... Uh, I didn't want to cancel that. Um, who is he? This guy. We'll cancel that one. And we'll go for the other one later on. And I'll do that after the... I don't know how he's going to feel about that. But I don't want to lose him anyway. I don't really want to make too many changes to this team. I'd like to get a second striker in. And I really desperately need a wing back now who can play both sides. So I don't apart from that, I really don't want to change this team very much. Um we'll just we we'll just play balance. We are the home team and we should be a bit more positive. But I'm going to put my wing backs once again on support. It's really important we don't lose this game. And at the moment, the assistant doesn't have much of a clue. This is a team that should be winning football matches. And uh, hopefully we'll go out and do that. If we don't, we don't. It's not the end of the world. But I think it, this is my first team. This is why... I kept them fresh for this game. And now I'm going to tell them it's important that we make use of our home form. I have some very, very good players up front. And if they fire, we will win the game easily. If they don't, then we might struggle. 
and I need those three up front, Aguilera, Kumalo and Perotti, as well as Maxi Alves, to have really good games, and then this game is done and dusted. What we don't want is an injury to a left wing back at this point in time. And so, at the moment, early days, nothing has happened. It's pretty standard for this tactic. Nothing really happens at this point because we're not pushing forward. And clear evidence that we have one, two, three, four, five people back defending. Just the evidence that we are not pushing forward in a hurry. These are important. Watching these are very important. And if you can win the second ball when the team heads it or kicks it down into the middle, if you win that second ball, then you've got your line absolutely right. If you don't win the second ball, you probably need to step up more or push the line forward. Because what it's saying is you don't have enough cover in midfield, so you need to press the space, basically. And then... Um, once you've done that, then you should be getting much more possession. But at the moment, we're doing all right. We've got the ball. Perez has gone past this man there without any problem. And he's still going. Finds Aguilera inside. Finds Kamalo. Kamalo has made it 1-0. What a team this is. And I said if those two boys, Aguilera and Kamalo... Fired on all cylinders, we will win this comfortably. And what a start they've both made. And Aguilera came deep, looked inside, his buddy Camalo, bang, 1-0. And that's how you do that. And um, nice uh, thinking about those two players, they're both just 19 years old. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, Kamalo especially, it feels like he's been around forever. <laughs> he's with me in South Africa. We brought him over to Brazil. It feels like he's been around forever. And he's just 19 years old. I forget that he made his debut just a few days after his 16th birthday. <laughs> and what a player he's turned out to be. And I think if he went to Europe, although I'm desperately trying to hold on to him, if he goes to Europe, he will d turn out to be one of the best players in the world. And we're very fortunate to have him here. And Aguilera is having a nice, tidy game. And look who's playing well. Those two attacking midfielders having lovely games. Galarza, we need him to control the midfield and let the boys up front do the rest. Lovely pass by Kumalo. Pires is in acres of space. Can you find support? He does with Aguilera. One little pass. That's a penalty, ref, surely. <laughs> and Cipriano is at the edge of the box. Looks to the far post. It's cleared. We're pretty much not really seeing any resistance at all. From Gaudé, or how I don't know how you pronounce the name, but they're not really giving anything to us at the moment, which is always dangerous because every team has its 10 minutes, and we need to anticipate that they might cause us problems at some point. And so, I do need to keep an eye on anybody who might be their key danger men. I do know, I am aware that their striker is very dangerous. I had an email saying just that. And that's lovely. Perotti's in space. Get it into the six-yard box. He can't. Finds Perez. Back to Perotti. Come on, faster, faster. And they're offside. But that's nice football. And we've only been playing this tactic this year. So it is nice to see that it's working. <coughs> and there's an indication that we may need to push the line up at some point. Because we didn't win that second ball. But it might be just that Perotti was just lazy. So we just need to keep an eye on that. And again, that's a poor pass. So it does possibly suggest to me that the midfield isn't compressed enough. And I think what I will do, because I'm having lots of little clues, is just push the line up. Compress the midfield a little bit and see if that stops these little errors that we're making see if we can't now win the ball 
But they are a good team. <clears throat> they are through, and that was a long shot. And we do need to be very careful. And I do need to shout at them and demand more. We've got to give more. We can't afford to go off the boil at this point. Uh, Cipriano, Cipriano bursting down the left. Can he get the ball across? Cipriano to the byline. He's got himself boxed in, but he has found support. We are in space. Comes out to Maxi Alves. <laughs> and that's what Maxi Alves can do. And those names are the ones I talked about before the game. Luando Camalo, Aguilera and Maxi Alves. And if they play well, we'll beat anybody. Bring on Manchester City. We'll beat Manchester City if they play well. And boy, are they putting on performances today. So we are 2-0 up. <clears throat> but I just want to just have a look at if they are pushing further up the pitch. And they're not as yet. And we should be able to contain this one striker they're not yet pushing up the pitch and so i do want to watch for them pushing up the pitch and if it gets to one-on-one -on -one type time then we might have to do something galarza come on guys you can do better than that galarza come on and um we he's just whipped one over the crossbar we're in the good books with fm because our shots are on target <laughs> today and we have a good percentage, shots on target percentage rate. We're not creating many chances, but we're pretty defensive at the moment. And we just don't need to do anything more than this. We're ripping them apart up front. And why would you need to do any more? Why would you need to go into attack mode when you're actually taking them apart as it is? Just be defensively solid, keep a clean sheet, and we're home and dry. And again, lovely passing, nice Maxi Alves again, but that's not one of his best efforts. And he should have hit that, in fact, with his right foot, not with his left foot. But I think we are at the moment developing his right foot, but it might take a little bit of time. And uh, again, we have another highlight. We're definitely in control of this game. Ball to the back post, nobody there. Perotti is not at his best at the moment. Uh, he had one good game where he caused serious problems to the opposition. He scored three goals in that game. But apart from that, he's, he's moving. He doesn't look fit, I don't think, at the moment. And maybe I do need to get a young striker in who can cover for him or play Shatin more. I'm not too happy with Shatin. He's old now, he's 33 years old, but he could probably still play as a deep-lying forward. So maybe maybe play Shatin a little bit more. Give him a chance. And we are definitely camped in their half. We are looking like we are a good side at the moment. Passing it about nice and gently, slowly probing. I have t very, very good wing-backs. It's unfortunate that Raquel me is injured because I have four very good full backs, wing backs. They keep the flanks pretty protected. My attacking midfielders, when they are firing, are brilliant. So this is pretty good team. Running a mid block, doing reasonably well. Defensive tactics are so underrated, and we're not. We haven't got it on defend, but we've just got our wing backs just more defensive minded than possibly most tactics. So, yeah, I agree with you, Adrian. Um, defensive tactics are so underrated. It, and just because you're not in attacking mode, it doesn't mean you're not going to create chances. You can see we are creating all the chances. And basically, they are struggling to work out how to combat this, how to how to break us down. Again, we have six people in defensive areas there, and that's difficult for them to break down. They are looking like they're pushing men a few more men forward, but we have a plan for that if they do. Um, but when they push forward, that's going to open up spaces for us at the back. And Cipriano, get a, get your legs on. Come on, let's go. 
Needs to charge his batteries, Cipriano. But nicely done, nicely held. Maxi Alves, one little pass. No, he's gone the wrong way for me. He should have tried a through ball. Perez looks to fire it into the box and it goes behind. Well, if Godoy are favourites to win the group, they don't look that good to me. Um, the away leg will be different, be tougher. But at the moment, we are doing exactly the right thing. We have all the match momentum. They haven't created a single chance. And that's pretty good. And we're leading 2-0. And I'm going to say... Um, yeah, I'm happy with our passing. I think we should just keep doing what we're doing. Passing the ball around. I do need to definitely watch for how many players they're going to push up and whether they're going tight on my lines. But at the moment, it's still the same. They're not tight on my defensive line. There's only one up there. And there's the ball over the top. We've got that covered because we're not really high up the pitch. So do as much as you like of that. We're, I'm quite comfortable with that. I'm looking at the the way my team are positioned across the field it looks good but they are a little bit more positive in their approach now and you can see there it is they've got four attacking players alongside my line and that's what i'm going to look for they've changed the way they're playing they're playing much more attacking throwing bodies up up the field now and it's really important we don't give away a goal at this point and they are looking to get over the top of our defense if we can get us if we can sneak a goal here we'll have taken the sting out of them but we don't want them getting the match momentum here we want to just take that off them and so with that in mind i'm going to slow the game down i want to just slow it down i don't want them having any momentum and perez is to the byline 3-0, Perotti has woken from his slumbers. It's 3-0. <laughs> what a team this Coratiba is. Easy as pie. Look at the space on the right-hand side. And from there, he couldn't miss. <laughs> it's 3-0, and we've simply blown them away. <laughs> and we are... Well, we are going top of the group, and um, I I just wonder where the resistance was. They're, they're allegedly a very good team, but they haven't had anything to offer. I'm just going to go to my assistant, and I'm going to ask my assistant just to uh, review what he thinks we should be doing, and he thinks we should be doing less now in terms of the opposition they still haven't had a shot on goal and for the favorites in the group i'm wondering who did they bring <laughs> did they bring their first team or their youth team and we have another opportunity and it flies off the wall for a corner and after this corner i mean look at that we have all 10 outfield players up oh, Cipriano's just ducked down one. They were all on average ratings above seven. And I'm not sure why Cipriano went down one. It was just a corner. What was he doing wrong there? But uh, Maxi Alves is going to pick the ball up in midfield. Cipriano, lovely pass. Now we play, slowed it down now. We're going, we've taken all the sting out of the game now. And it's difficult for them to get any momentum going. And I did say once they started closing on my line, I had a plan. The plan was to stop them getting momentum. Keep the ball, slow it down, stop the game, really. And we've increased our leads as a result. And we look so dangerous up front. And we did rest the first team. The right decision to do that. Aguilera's in space. He couldn't get it across. Pires is supporting him. Come on, Pires. Finds Maxi Alves. Alves, Abba. The winner takes it all. 
and Anderson exchanges passes with Abba, finds Alves, Alves to Pires. That's a poor pass. <laughs> now we could be in trouble because I can see they've got three players counter-attacking, but Maxi Alves, the player that he is, and I've told him to tackle harder as well because he's got a good tackle on him and he showed us what he could do absolutely there and then. Time to make some changes and I'm looking for players who've played both games. Perotti has played both games. He can be replaced by Chatin. And Cipriano could probably do with the rest. So I am going to give Victor Luis a game. Um, he's complacent going onto the pitch. We just sort that out. And uh, I don't think we need to change anybody yet any further. We'll just go with those two subs and... We really just want to hold on to this 3-0. I'd like to keep a clean sheet if we can again. Um, because I like clean sheets. <laughs> I love tactics that produce clean sheets. And again, they're going to break. And we don't have enough numbers back. And they are looking very dangerous at this point. And that is a good save. <laughs> Gobetti has made a very good save. He's actually performing better in this game than William did in the last game and we just I just want to keep them out I want this clean sheet now just get it clear and Victor Luis come on come on come on I know you're old but <laughs> a little bit of a sprint won't hurt you and I don't think I want to do anything in fact I don't think I don't think they still have had a shot and it concerns me a little bit. It also concerns me that they are pushing forward at this point in time. And they are creating chances. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the line back. We'll just pull the line back a little bit. Because they are looking to get balls over the top they're pushing men up against our back four so if we drop off a little bit then hopefully that won't be an issue then that's a good block so we've kept them at bay they definitely are they've woken up from their slumbers they probably don't like they are trying to play with a higher tempo and that's in response to us slowing it down and they probably don't like losing to us 3-0. And that's woken them up from their slumbers. I'm, I think their manager might have had a quiet word in their ear. And uh, told them this is not acceptable. But what he didn't tell them at the beginning of the game is that Coritiba are a very fine football team. With very good young players. Who he probably hasn't heard of. <laughs> that was not Aguilera's best effort that I've ever seen. We are still totally dominating this game. I need to make some more changes. Give some more players a rest. And I think Aguilera could probably do with a rest. And uh, we will bring on Oliveira, who is a very fine young attacking midfield. We'll bring him on for a game. I think the defence are not tired. They look in perfect health to me. Galarza is tired, but he shouldn't be because he hasn't really done much. So I'm going to bring on Helinho anyway. It's good game time experience for him. We'll leave it at that for now. Naldi should be able to get through the game. And hopefully we've done enough to see this game out in a few minutes i'll start to close the game down when i play in comprehensive highlights i don't close the game down all at once i just do little things at a time just to begin closing the game down um we've already lowered the line which has helped us a lot we're still winning the ball in midfield oliveras come on show us what he can do we're looking good in all the departments here. That's a foul, referee. Send him off. Send him off. Was it in the box? No, it's outside the box. 
But I do know that Maxi Alves can be quite dangerous with these things. To the back post! Oh, we nearly made it four. And that would have got under their skin if we can make it four nil. I've got one more substitution to make. It might be good to give Maxi Alves a little bit of a break. I've got plenty of players who can come on and do a job for him. So we'll just have a look. Paraxides, Atuesta. We'll bring on Naldi. Naldi is a natural DLP. And we have totally annihilated them. Goals from Kumalo, Alves and Perotti. We put them away. Allegedly the best team in the group. Well, we've shown them who's the best team today. And we're not winning that those knockdowns in midfield, but it doesn't worry me because what I what I've got is a defensive setup now. They're gonna have to work very hard to get past us now. So perfectly happy with what we're doing. Just a few more minutes to go. We ain't gonna lose this game, that's for sure. That I'm seeing that we're defending in numbers and they're getting quite isolated and we've always got someone ready to, to do a job on them. Who's that? That's nicely done. Good cross, though. That was nicely done by Naldi. I'm just going to go back to my assistant and ask him, is there anything else you suggest? And he said no. Six minutes to go. We are rocking and rolling. I do prefer playing football manager in comprehensive highlights. It actually feels like a football match to me. Um, as opposed to key highlights, which did not feel like a football match to me. And it was just... Um, it was a horrible experience. The imbalance. Oh, they've hit the bar from a set piece but it's good it does it does mean that we've defended solidly and fm's just saying you've defended well and um, we should be able to counter attack here can we okay now it's time to start closing the game down so what we're going to do is we're going to start time wasting we're going to go a little bit narrower we're going to come off the counter press hold our shape and slow the pace down and that should be enough To see the game through. <coughs> Go on, Victor Luis. Oh, what a pass. And Oliveira. Its selection is going to be very, very difficult. All these young attacking midfielders I have. Oliveira is only 20, I think. All these great attacking midfielders that I have. Must be a Brazilian thing. Because I'm still seeing a really good young attacking midfielders in the in the transfer lists that come through, and we are four nil up now. And they they haven't got a clue how to break us down now, and all we've got to do is just see it out now. Just a few more minutes. Even if they score now, it doesn't matter. But it will upset me because I want the clean sheet. And I've told the fullbacks already not to close down. Let them cross it. They're not that good in the air. Let them cross it. And that's fine. We'll deal with those every day of the week. Lucas, good evening. I didn't see you there. I think I answered your question, but didn't greet you earlier. So, good evening, Lucas. Thanks for coming along. We are almost... Coming to the end of this game, the two biggest games of the season so far. And we've won one of them 3-0, and we've won one of them 4-0. I think we are putting together a very, very good team here. That was a very good job. Puts us top of the group, and that was nice work. Nice work. And you can see, there we are, proudly on top of the group. 
4-0. Our goal difference is 7. And we look good. Even at this point in the season, we look very, very good. And it's going to get very busy, though. <laughs> very, very busy over the next... The next couple of months are absolutely crazy. But we are still at 100%. We have to play games like Londrina, Alianza, who are now second behind us in the Copa Libertadores. Then Alianza again. Then we have the Brazil Cup third round. I think what we will do is come back for the Paranese game and the Porteno game. Although we should win that quite easy, I think. We'll come back for one of these two games somewhere around here. And so that's it. Thank you all, guys, for coming along. And um, we are very, very proud to be... Hi, Stefan, I didn't see you there. And so we are sitting proud at the top of the Paranese group. And we are sitting proud in our Libertadores group. We have a bunch of great young players in attacking midfield. The future... Looks bright. Thanks for coming, guys. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> we got the results that we wanted. And we will see you in the next one on Wednesday evening. I want to keep these short so people don't have to spend all night with me. It's been a good hour. Really enjoyed it. Vicky, goody, good night from Woking in England. And have a good night, everybody. Enjoy yourselves. Take care. Look after yourselves. And we will see you all on Wednesday. Don't forget, if you haven't dropped a like at the, as yet, drop a like before you leave. Help the channel to grow. Thanks, guys. And um, good to see so many members here. And I really do appreciate all that you do. Thanks for coming. See you in the next one.